Uh, yeah, we talked with, with witnesses, rather, who were inside of that party in the city's south side early Sunday morning. Investigators telling us it's still an active and ongoing investigation, but people who were inside say someone started shooting. They ran and ducked for cover, and right now the mayor says whoever owns that building on the city's south side and held the party will be held responsible. A large party inside of a warehouse on the city's south side ends with 15 people shot and two dead. This video taken early Sunday morning inside of the after hours party shows people dancing and having fun. Moments later, gunfire erupts. Music playing, everyone just having fun. And next thing you know, I hear shooting and everyone went down to the ground screaming. A witness who did not want to be identified tells me one of her friends was hit twice. He got shot. And he was telling me to come and help him and to drive him to the hospital. The shooting happened just before 5 o'clock Sunday morning in the 6700 block of South South Chicago Avenue. The building is used for auto repairs and towing, but overnight it was packed. Business Affairs and Consumer Protection has twice issued cease and desist orders to multiple businesses located at that address. Those violations, which started back in 2018, were for illegally operating a cigar and liquor lounge without the proper business license. Also, in 2019, the city says the owner of that building was arrested for violating that order and the illegal business was shut down. Obviously, that was an un unauthorized use uh, for that facility. And given the history, I would expect there to be some significant um, activity taken. The medical examiner identified the two people killed as 30-year-old Renisha Dotson and 39-year-old Lionel Darling. Dotson's sister sharing this photo with ABC7. The family says she had just moved to Texas to escape the gun violence in the Windy City and was back to visit when she was killed. Right now, Chicago police believe the shooting was gang-related. Everyone was literally on the ground trying to find a way out. Now, city records show there was a follow-up investigation at that warehouse back in 2019. No issues were found at that time, but investigators are going back out to the scene right now. They're trying to talk to the business, and the business owner, who, as we told you in the past, has been cited at this point. No one was arrested for that shooting. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.